Hello viewers, you're watching Nagaland TV News now. This is Nufu Ayer with you and here are the headlines. Three Eastern Nagaland organizations hold a protest rally demanding justice for late Easter Pom who was murdered by Al Wati on 13 September. Organizations submit memorandum to DC Mokokchung. Kohima Police issues new traffic regulations in the city in view of Vice President's visit. M. Vengaya Naidu is all set to visit Kohima from October 7 to 9. Kohima Bench, Gohati High Court gives green signal to Nagaland government to resume recruitment process for posts and services under purview of NPSC with a one-year age relaxation. NTBB most likely to win the election to the 58th Shamator Chesor constituency seat following withdrawal of nominations by other parties in support of Nagaland United Government. United Democratic Alliance constitutes four-point resolutions on Tuesday during its first official meeting at Chief Minister's Residential Complex, Kohima. And now the news in details. Vice President of India M. Vengaya Naidu is scheduled to visit Kohima from October 7 to 9. In view of the three-day visit to the VP, Kohima Police has issued traffic regulation for the public to follow from October 7 to 9. The order stated that area from 1 AR camp to get to D block to Raj Bhavan via DCB get, DCB get to Raza Point to High School, Classic Point to Pesama Village via Monkola, Leri will be turned into a no parking zone while alternative parking facility will be available at all MLA hostel complex. Norton Get via Raza Point, Kohima Police also informed that the bus stand at PHQ Junction will be shifted to opposite NSF Martyrs Park. The Southern Angami bound taxi stand at Network Station Mohonkola will also be vacated by 12 noon. Superintendent Kohima Police also informed that heavy vehicles are prohibited to enter Kohima Town from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. during the three days period. Advisor for Tourism and Art and Culture, H. Hekovi Yepotomi, with Commissioner and Secretary of Tourism, I. Kito Zimomi, inspected the ongoing works at Kisama Naga Heritage Village on Tuesday. According to reports, repair and renovation works are in full swing for the upcoming ITM and Hornwheel Festival 2021. Hollow Brick Manufacturing Unit at Kifri was inaugurated by Deputy Commissioner and Chairman District Level Coordination Committee T. Wati Ayer on 5 October 2021. The Deputy Commissioner stated that Kifri District is so fortunate that state government is assisting the public in various fields like agriculture, horticulture, LRT and cooperative department at every level, including villages. He advised the Lanya Society to take it as a privilege and work secretly, sincerely to bring laurels to the society. I urge that the bricks be compared with the other ones and sell them with a limited price so that more products will be demanded. He asked them to focus on their project and advised not to take it as a one-time project but take it as an eye-opener for their society so that more opportunity can be availed even in the days to come. The department has assisted Rs 4 lakh for the hollow brick manufacturing unit and Rs 9.50 lakhs for pickup vehicle for transportation purpose to Lanya Multipurpose Cooperative Society Limited, Kifri. Nagaland government in the process of keeping the COVID-19 situation under control has decided on reducing the number of passengers allowed in a taxi from 10 passengers 
to five per vehicle, maintaining certain protocol in regard. To this, a student named Mukang Chem Yem Hung, on behalf of all the students, has appealed to the government to normalize the movement of taxis in the state, as this has resulted in increase of fare of, to a larger rate, which made it very difficult for the common people to travel by taxi. Therefore, he appeals to the government to look into the matter for the betterment of the students and the common people in general. Good morning. Good morning, Subhi Subhi Mwan. Yadhi Aishik Kondor Sode. Aro, thanks to NLDV for giving this opportunity to, to express our grievances. Moe Kubuli Thakya Do. Ami Khan, state government bra, coronavirus ito aina. Mwan laga state te. Ito passenger do sumo de toshin bukhibul dea do. It is a pansuni bokibul dia se. Aro fair be it is of the pishi rate uthailoche. Earlier it is a one thousand takishe. We live it two thousand hoishe. We live it mohalla appeal do. Ito a mohal public la appeal do kia se gulle. Morombra ito la do normalized crew dibe. Aro full hundred percent passenger bokibul dibe. This is my humble appeal to our chief minister Nifurio to please normalize the system. Ito ito ena. Morombra, itu ada full seat buk buk hilul di bawah. Jadi, ina hilul itu, mohon bi student kan asy, student kan bi safe hobo, semua manusia safe hobo. Itu ada mohon sahili itu, korban bi itu ada anlu khusyeh, open khusyeh, aru hundred percent itu ada attend guru, aru timur budi bi mohon itu ada sah asy, education bi guru asy, manusia iman, without maintaining SOBs, itu ada ini function guru asy, itu ada itu yang sabde, morombra transportation labi normalize guru bi, itu tu immediate Action lori itu palasi guna mui request kerja se. Ini dia mohon kira saya semua. Ya, ya tu ini kerja se. Itu SOP mesin grow kerani. Ya tu action boi wo. Ya tu tujuan boi wo. Obat itu tujuan boi wo. Ina se. Hui lori ini government kampi iman action tu lori lori na parai kilo lori. Rasti tu itu passenger kan tu kantan kani se. Jana wano kani se. Ina hui na ikilo boi jai. Aro ya tu saman bukul thaya tu. O tu nici se tehi bukhe. Ida se mohon sabu lori parai se. Aido. Ya deh mohon sahul beres ini aja. Aro itu tu, itu aja. Aro itu tu, esok bi menteri kuat tu ikut. Kali lade esok bi menteri kuat tu ikut naik. Itu orang ni mohon lah appeal tu. Mula ambra. Ya deh bi normalize kuat dibi. Ina hui na full sih hundred percent pukih boleh dibi. Na hui itu mohon tu student kan tu. Ya deh abton guru le pisit dukai. Itu bi na hui na aro. Mui futur deh mui boleh sih. Mau ibi tuh tuh kan kita naik cawul le ulai aja sih. Kila ulai polis kan cek kure, aro fine bi impos kure. Itu orang ni, mau itu futur aja cawul le thakya tu. At least one thousand berapa jaya na pungsi ulai pare. Kuli bi, ya tiap orang full seat booking grow lagi. Nah kuli itu polan ista thakya le itu ini extra berapa cawul pare. Kuli bi, korban la order hisap dia sih. Jauh kan kuli bi, kondo kan kuli bi. Itu hisap dia cawul le ulai aja. Aro polis kan bi checking tu grow le ulai aja. Esok bi mention nak kuli itu. Itu orang ni mau ila humble appeal tu please murum bra. Taxi tapi transportation bi moram bra normalize kuat dibi. Aro akhirnya kena thagi she itu nasional thagi bi. Kila kuli do itu ado like I have said earlier timur budi kuli bi koyamat kuli bi itu ado education bi ini jai aro kia sile ganabil kambi loy aro kiki program bi organize kure like normally kuli bi transportation tapi kila iman delay kure she moram bra itu bi. This is my humble request please student for the welfare of student of Nagaland moram bra. Taxi TV, normalize kuli le palasi kui na itu kui se. Thank you so much NLDV for giving me this opportunity and this is my humble request to our honourable Chief Minister of Nagaland. The United Democratic Alliance has adopted four point resolutions during its first meeting held on October 5 at Chief Minister's residential complex at 11 a.m. The House appreciated the commitment of the Government of India towards Indo-Naga peace process and welcomed the positive steps related to the ongoing Indo-Naga political dialogue. The House appreciated the resumption of talks and the decision of the Naga political groups to resume the peace process. The House upheld the resolutions of the civil societies, Nagaland Legislative Assembly and series of consultative meetings and appeals to the negotiating parties to respond to people and bring the protracted Indo-Naga political issue to its logical conclusion. The UDA further resolved to make effort to towards the peace process and the ongoing negotiations and appealed to all sections to continue to work towards unity, reconciliation and oneness.
Nagaland witnesses fuel price hike again for straight two days. Petrol and diesel price skyrockets in state with petrol price at Rs 101.43 on Wednesday at Dimapur and diesel price at Rs 93.55. Earlier on Tuesday, the price for petrol was Rs 100.90 and 92.89 for diesel. As people suffered due to continuous hike in fuel price, Nagaland TV has taken a ground report on the matter. Tet for tak to le do petrol laga tam do hundred point ninety takishe aro diesel laga tam to le do ninety two point eighty nine hushe. Huli bi kali Tuesday de nutun rate to le do Timapur de petrol laga tam to le do one one hundred one point fourteen aro diesel laga tam to le do ninety three point twenty tak utishe ko na ido ab denge chalai dia se. Ame ne de auto driver auto driver chunge tu. Del del lagatam do. Oh, di bishu gurase. To apne bishu man tukbas. Aare bishu tuk paya samakhan. Choli bu na para hujesi. Ye tu prat del lagatam tu sabi na. Ek so paro jesi. Apni khan kipa kuri bi. Apni government ke ki government. Government tu kopo government ke government to sabo lagya. Oto driver. Amakhan iman del halibu na hajda nisha na hajda bi na paye. Del lagatam iman hujesi hajda to na paye. Dusho tinsho ena ka paye si. Din bhar gadi chalai ke na. तो आप इतु पर आप गवर्नमेंट के मरम कोड़ी बोला कि अमेरिकन जानी पैसे कि ये दे ऑटो ड्राइवर चिंगे होता होगा ये भी तान भी इमान तिक दरिस फेस करें से उन्हें जानी पैसे अरो अमेरिकन ये दे एक चिंगे होती सब वो दे लगा तो हम तो उठाओ दी पीछे कर रहे हैं से तो अपनी भी किमान दुख पासे बहुत दुख पैसे तो सरकार कुछ नहीं करता क्या करें हम लोग गरीब आदमी हैं बोलना तेल का दाम कम करो और क्या करें अंकल पेट्रोल आरोप डीजल का दाम तो उठा उठी पीछे दिखा से अमिर तो अपनी लाइफ इतना लोगों ने फंसना दिखे अरे तो तो हम अगर स्ट्राइक करो लगे ऐसे हैं अलग गवर्नमेंट लोगों ने रिक्वेस्ट करना ना तो डॉन को ले बीच बाल होगा पब्लिक करने या अमाकन भी सेलिंग तो उठा भी उठा ना ही ये तो करने अमाकन भी प्रॉब्लम तो फेस कर रहे हैं ये तो आसे आ थैंक यू थैंक यू अम्यां दिखो पर जे पब्लिक कन तान की मन दुख पासे ये तो दिल लगा दम उठा उठी करा दो तो तान ला ग्रीवेंसेस शेयर कर रहे और तकन ला एपिल दो ले तो ये तो दम तो नमाइ दि� The Kohima Bench of Gohati High Court on Tuesday allowed the government of Nagaland to go ahead with recruitment process under the preview of the Nagaland Public Service Commission with one-year edge relaxation. Additional General Kekringule appearing for the state government said the state is not insisting on vacation or modification of the order, but as far as the posts and services to be filled up through recruitment conducted by NPSC or DRP. The order may be modified so that recruitment can be carried out as per the respective services rules. Counsel for the respondent and COSA also said that she had no objection in modifying the order as per the state service rules. A fire broke out at Noklak High School Sector B on October 5, leaving nothing but ashes behind. Luckily, there are no casualties reported as there was no one in the house when the incident took place. After the villagers reached the area, a fire brigade was sent into the location to douse the fire.
Minister for Health and Family Welfare S. Pang Yupong visited the construction sites of Chief Medical Officers of his building, New District Hospital Dimapur Building, Chumokirima Hospital and CHISR on Monday. According to the reports, the minister inspected the construction sites and evaluated the progress of the construction. Reportedly, the new district hospital will be 200 bedded and an additional 50 bedded building construction is also underway. According to sources, the 50 bedded will be completed by December 2021. Furthermore, CMO's office building will soon begin and will be completed within 22 months. Recruitment process for 2056 vacancies for State Bank of India for the post of probationary officer has been released. The application process begins from October 5th and will remain open till October 25th. The SBI aims to hold the online preliminary exam in the month of November or December 2021. However, no set deaths have been notified yet and a total of 2056 posts will be filled through the recruitment process while 200 seats are reserved for candidates belonging to the economically weaker section of the society. Furthermore, application must have a graduation level degree to be able to apply and must be at least 21 years old to be eligible to apply while the age is capped at 30 years. The Director General of Police Nagaland received four ambulances from National Highways and Infrastructure Development Corporation Limited under Corporate Social Responsibility at Police Headquarters premises on October 1. Furthermore, the ambulances are of higher end with basic life support equipments. TGB Further of Nagaland expressed his gratitude to NHI DCL for the generous gesture towards Nagaland Police. Past midnight on October 2, Raj Kanyabarao, who is a 29-year-old wedding planner and former Miss India finalist, allegedly knocked down eight PWD workers on duty in the Rukmini Nagar area in Guwahati, Assam. One of the workers had his left leg chopped off when Raj Kanya's car rushed at him, while one of the workers identified as Joseph, who had been hospitalized at Guwahati Medical College and Hospital, had both his legs amputated. MS Barao was granted bail as all the sections slapped against her were bailable and no criminal case was filed. But coming in as latest development after the outrage that poured in against Assam police after her bail, the police has booked Raj Kanya Barao under Section 308 of IPC for attempt to commit culpable homicide. The punishment under this section is jail up to seven years or fine or both. She was admitted in semi-ICU and a six-member medical board has been set up to look into the medical health status of Rajkanya. <laughs> Pakistan's Information Minister Fawad Chaudhary said that the cabinet ministers whose names had appeared in the Pandora Papers would not be removed from their respective positions until they are proven guilty. Chaudhary during a press conference said action will be taken once they are proven guilty. Chaudhary also announced that Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan had formed a cell to investigate the Pakistani names in the Pandora Papers case. Meanwhile, opposition parties rejected Khan's move and called it a hoax. Ahoy. 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 
ex Punjab Chief Minister Captain Amrinder Singh departed from Chandigarh for New Delhi on Wednesday. In his second consecutive visit to Delhi since stepping down as Chief Minister, he is likely to meet PM Narendra Modi. According to sources, Singh will talk about farm laws and issues pertaining to border security with PM Modi as Singh had earlier withdrawn and written a letter to PM Modi over the same issues. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi heads to Lakhimpur Kheri despite being denied permission by the Uttar Pradesh government. He stated that he will be visiting Lakhimpur Kheri with two other chief ministers and he said that three people are going. He says that section 144 stops five people or more from going, hence that is not the violation. Farmers' rights are being systematically robbed, which is why they are protesting. He added, the Congress leader further said the opposition's job is to create pressure so that action is taken. If we had not gone to Hatras, the culprits would have gone scout-free. Earlier, the Uttar Pradesh government had denied permission to a five-member delegation of the Congress party led by Rahul Gandhi to visit Lakhimbur Kheri district. Kolkata Metro Rail Corporation informed that on the occasion of Durga Puja, they have increased the timings of its last metro leaving the stations by one and a half hour from October 12 to 14, and that from Durga Puja Saptami to midnight on Nabami, the timing of the metro operations will be from 10 a.m. till 11 p.m. Furthermore, Kolkata Metro has also decided to increase the frequency of trains for those three days with an increase in the security arrangements. India reports 18,833 fresh COVID-19 cases with 2,278 deaths in the last 24 hours. India's recovery rate now stands at 97.94%, a total of 24,770 patients recovered in the last 24 hours, which bring the total recoveries to 3 crore 31,75,656 cases across the country, with 2,46,687 active cases. Former U.S. President Donald Trump dropped off from the Forbes 400 list of America's richest people for the first time in 25 years. Although Trump's wealth is worth around U.S. dollars 2.5 billion, his USD came down to 600 million since the start of the pandemic, leaving him short of 400 million to make the cutoff of this year's Forbes list. That's all we have for now. Keep watching Nagaland TV for more news and updates.